What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. You're watching Indigo Tech Tutorials. If you're new here, please press that like and subscribe to the channel. So in this video, I'm gonna be building a motivational app where you can go and type out your goals for the day, add different images to help you uh, stay on topic. And then we're gonna automatically create the wallpaper for your desktop, phone, anything. This is gonna be a really cool app to build and I hope you guys are excited and you can code along and build yourself a motivational tool. Okay, I'm gonna get started building this app. So really the reason why I wanna build this is because I'm always thinking about, or I always see my background on my computer when I have to open it up. And sometimes I just don't wanna have to go and see the same old background all the time. And also just kinda like can be distracting too to have backgrounds. I just don't know what I wanna have. <laughs> And that's when I came up with the idea that it would be great if I could have a motivational background where, well, I can set the goal for the day or I can set my goal and then it creates a wallpaper I can just put on my background. So I thought that'd be a really cool app that we could build pretty easily. So to start this off, I'm going to go into Terminal and I'm going to create a new Rails app. And I'll just call it Motivation App. I'll type in dash D to specify the database as PostgreSQL, and then dash C to specify the CSS framework as Tailwind. And I'll run that and it'll create the app for us. Looks like there's a little typo in motivation. Motivation. Now inside of here, I'll just start the server with bin slash dev. We can go to localhost 3000. Uh, we see the screen, we cannot find your database. All we have to do is create the database by clicking that button. And now we see the nice Rails logo. And this means that everything's set up and we're ready to start coding. So really for this, I just wanna have one main model for now that's gonna be a goal. And then a goal is gonna have like a description or not a description more like a text <laughs> I don't know if that's better but it's gonna be rich text and that's really all we're gonna do for now then we can migrate to the database and I'm just gonna update the, the root so that it changes uh, just the main URL in the app so to do that I'll open the code I'm using VS code so I'll open the motivation app and then I'll go in the config folder that routes to RB. Now inside here with the scaffold, we got this uh, resources added up here. So we can leave that, that's fine. But let's uncomment the root and let's change this to goals index. And let's refresh. We see the goals index. I can go create a new goal. Oh, but we see an error with action text. Um, I forgot to install that. So if we go back in the console, we can do a Rails action text colon install. Uh, that'll set up everything for action text and then we can migrate the database and we need to do that because we're doing a rich text area so something like this where we can do the bold and then also attach images so i'm just going to put my goal so actually a personal goal i have is i need to migrate my app from heroku to aws or let's just say alternative because i'm still looking into it Do I? <laughs> I do. Okay, let's do a AWS. I need to migrate my app from Heroku to AWS. And maybe we can even do an AWS picture. That would probably help me get motivated. So let's go get this image. And let's drop an AWS image. I can create my goal. And now this is almost where I want it to be. There is like a little cleaning up I, I can do. Let's get rid of that main uh, container. So we're going to app folder views, layouts, the application file. I'm gonna delete this main element. So delete the wrapper and then leave the yield. So it's just the body and the yield. And then inside of that show page, uh, we can just, mm, we might wanna change this up if we don't want 
two thirds. I could just do a max width. Uh, it's, it looks basically exactly the same. And then instead of rendering the goal partial though, okay, so let's delete the render the goal and let's also delete the notice. And instead of that, we'll just have a giant H1. It's like actually pretty big oh except for the goal is gonna be that's gonna be tricky because I do want it to show it big but I don't know how we can style it if it's gonna be action text oh it's not body it's text goal text so this is the whole text right here I need to migrate my app from Heroku to AWS but I really want to make this text larger I wonder if we could wrap it in some sort of div and style. Okay, we kind of can. <clears throat> so that'll work good for us. We can just make the text bigger like that. It also kind of, I can't tell if it's making the AWS logo bigger. I don't think it is. But adding padding between these would be good. That's kind of one tricky thing. Like with this, we'd want to somehow make it smaller. Let me go back to the... Oh, we can, we can style it. So if we go in the code, I forgot, but when you do the action text install, it adds this folder called active storage and the blob. And this is actually, so that's what this is. And you'll see it's pretty huge like this I don't even know what that is in gallery oh in galleries probably like if you have um side by side I think you can do side by side with action text I don't really know how to do it though hmm so let's just leave this by default, I don't know which one to use. Maybe this one would be more like vertical. But what I'm gonna do is up here in the class, just add some tailwind that will make sure that the image doesn't get too big. So width 36 would be actually really small. Doesn't look like that really had any effect though oh maybe we should just do it on the image itself so inside the image tag uh, right but not inside of this blob representation we can add a class let's just do like width 40 height 40 object cover I really don't know how what this is gonna do it looks like it didn't do anything Oh, but we're editing it. We're not showing it. My bad. But on the show page, it is working. Interesting. So I don't really know what we want to We might just do like a height kind of thing. I guess that doesn't really have any effect. width definitely works hmm I also don't want to preview I don't want to show the the title so I guess that's down here the caption let's just completely delete that from the preview so I just want to see text and I want to see image oh but image also should can have some margin that would be nice so maybe we can do that the margin top six that didn't really do anything Let's try on the image itself. Mm, nothing. Maybe we can do a, a BR. This is kind of like already would would be, yeah. See, that would do that inside of the text. And then if I want to make that image center, MX Auto, does that do anything? No. Maybe we should just do a div and flex justify center.
I'm already getting really motivated. This is awesome. So I need to migrate my app from Procode AWS. And then I don't even want to see the links either. Because basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to have, I'm going to take like a snapshot of this page. Got a little kombucha to help soothe my throat a little bit. Let's get back into this motivation. I need to migrate my app from Heroku to AWS. See, this is already perfect. Now the question is, how can I, how can I get the image? Maybe I'll just put it on this page, like the index page. Uh, so basically inside the goal partial, download wallpaper, I guess. Now, right now, where is this gonna go? We don't have anything. So actually, let's add a wallpaper. We don't have to do a migration or anything because of how active storage works. We're gonna say the wallpaper is, well, I'll show you right here. It's gonna look like goal.wallpaper. So to set that, we just go in the goal model and right under has rich text, we say has one attached and then what did I call it? Wallpaper. And then if we're going to access it here, we can print it like this, but we'll do a URL for wallpaper. But we can say if goal.wallpaper attached. So it only shows up if we actually have the wallpaper, like the file, which right now we don't. So how do we get this? How do we get this image? <clears throat> and what I'm thinking is I kind of want to use Selenium. I literally did this before too. Let's ask ChatGPT. Install the gems. Well, it's not going to be inside of configure capybara. Yeah, I don't want to use capybara. Yeah, I really want to use Selenium inside of a background job. And we do a headless environment. I really don't think we need all this. Like, we don't. This is crazy. <clears throat> we don't need Capybara for this. Because I did this the other day. Did I not? Maybe I was just thinking about doing it. But I swear I did it. Here we go. Oh, you know what? It's probably water too. Save screenshot. Okay. So first step is add the gem, Selenium web driver. Selenium. That's a cool word to say. Then we can go back in the console run bundle to add that gem it's already added but we need to wait did we already have it that's kind of awkward no we didn't already have it we did inside of is this just default in rails now but the funny thing is we need to <laughs> we actually i guess we just need to move this over and let's leave capybara because i don't think we need it but let's move Selenium WebDriver over to this double. And what I mean by double is development and test. So we're going to have it for both. Now let's go back in the console, do a bundle install. Oh, it looks like we already had it. Okay. Brew install Chrome driver. So I guess that's important. Although I feel like we already have it, but 
Let's go and run that, just in case. Hmm. No, I mean, it looks like it's downloading it. Curb driver was installed, so I guess that's important. And then, sweet, so now we can require this. And just as easy as this, we can take the screenshot. So let's go and create a background job for this. So I'll, do, I'll go in the console. And I'll type in Rails G job. Um, like create wallpaper, basically. Or <clears throat> screenshot. Let's just call it a screenshot job. So we created that. Now we have a screenshot job. And what's going to happen really is inside of that screenshot job we're just gonna expect a goal ID and then we find the goal by that goal ID and then we would start doing some of this stuff so maybe we have to require this at the top of the file and then we set the driver we tell it to navigate actually where we're gonna navigate to is the show page of the goal to go to like I don't know if we can do goal path I think we need to do goal URL pass in goal but we don't have this goal we don't have any of that stuff but to add that we can include it on the class just include rails .application .routes .url helpers. then we're gonna have access to methods like this that we usually do in the controller so we navigate there then we save a screenshot uh, which would have to go to our file that we define. Which I think it would automatically go in temp, but let's just see. So let's just go and manually do this from console. If you go into terminal and type rlc, we'll get into the rails console. And I'll just say screenshot job dot perform now. And I'll pass in goal.last.id and see this is what it's doing oh it's it's missing the host parameter c so this is kind of annoying because i'm trying to the reason being when i do the goal url and i'm including the the url helpers it doesn't know what to use for the host and the host being like for for development it'd be localhost but in production it would be the name of your website the domain what we can do is we can add this method down at the bottom so we create our own default URL options and I'm pretty sure we can put it in private and then inside of here we return a hash which would have the host key and we're just going to set it to localhost 3000 Now let's go back here. Uh, let's type in reload to reload the Rails console. And then I'll just press up on the arrow keys to get to my my last command where I was doing the job. And I'll press enter. Ooh, oh, because we need to be running the server at the same time. That's one thing I forgot. Uh, let's try that again. So now it loads up. It took the picture. Now I'm just curious where did that go? Where do you think that went? Oh, it went to the main, just the main piece of the application. But that's already what I was kind of had in mind. Okay, perfect. From here, whoops. <laughs> we need to change the, the place that this gets saved to. So let's just use the temp folder, but let's create a unique name just in case we have like multiple uh, screenshots being saved at once. So let's change that to a variable and then let's set the file path equal instead of this we like screenshot but we're gonna save it in temp slash we'll just do a temp and then inside of here we need to somehow make it unique so i'll say secure 
random dot u u u i d and this is always pretty unique for rails and it's just gonna create like a random hash okay so if we do that again but let's let's reload the console first and then let's rerun that line of code now it took the picture and it should have saved it uh, if we go in the temp folder we see it saved it with this file name I need to migrate my app from Heroku blah 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 so now we have after we save the screenshot we have the file saved we can even quit selenium that's fine after there what I want to do is I want to open the file path Lock. and then we're going to attach this local file to the goal so say goal.wallpaper.attach and then do an option called io which is like the live file data i guess we can pass it in and attach it and then we also need to set a file name so we just simply do like screenshot.png we might want to do it more specific i don't know motivation because this is what the file is going to be named when the, the person downloads it. So we, we can make it more memorable. Like motivation screenshot. Motivation wallpaper. And then let's just put like the date. The date would be like time.zone.now. And then we'd have to do some custom surf time. Surf time generator. So I want to make it uh, friendly for the for the file names. I'm not gonna go crazy. But I want like something like like this. Month, day, year. Let's reload. Oh, let's not reload. But actually, let's let's finish this off. So we have the date. That should be fine. We attached it, so that should be good too. We now have the wallpaper. And the very last thing I want to do is just file delete the file path. Just so we don't have like all these files in the temp folder. Although that gets deleted anyways when when your app uh, like redeploys. Okay. Let's exit out. Or actually, let's go back in here and let's rerun it one more time. So it can actually get saved. And you'll see right there in the logs, it updated active storage. So we should have that wallpaper now. Uh, we already have the server running. So all I have to do is just refresh. And now we have the new button, download wallpaper. And we click it. Oh, I really wish it would just download. Uh, with the download buttons, they're not usually that, that good. Oh. Don't we need to set an attribute on it? Add the download attribute. So what does that mean? Like download true? Can we do that? Yes, download true. I guess that's it. Another thing is the styling. I want to just copy it from over here. So it at least has the same styling as the other links. Even though those aren't really that great, you know, but we can show edit or download, which download just takes it right there. And then if I want to go and set my wallpaper, how do I do that? <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Wallpaper. Let's go. We have to add folder, we can't just add. <laughs> Seriously. This is the thing I don't get about MacBooks. Like, why can't we just pick a singular image? Yeah, that's, a, that's a thought. That could have been a nice feature. <sighs> Apparently not. If we want to add our own image, we have to actually go and create a folder. Wallpaper. 
wires. And then I have to find that new wallpaper. Where is it? I have to bring it all the way over here. It's already not the best experience, but this is just MVP. You gotta understand. Okay, so I added the folder. Now's the moment of truth. I'm gonna go. Wait, no. <sighs> I need to migrate my app from Heroku to AWS. I did it. I built a motivational app. And let's say I let's let's say that I finished that goal. I migrated it. What's my next goal? Probably create a new awesome video for my YouTube channel. Also, press that like button and subscribe to the channel. All right, now quickly to grab some pictures to use for that, that like button. Let's download that like button and smash it on this video because I feel like this is a banger. Press that like button subscribe let's get the subscribe button and subscribe to the channel let's download this create goal dang it the one last thing I forgot though is to actually automatically do it Whoops. So to automatically run the background job, I would go in the con into the goals controller. And inside of here, after we save the goal, so we know the goal is like good to go, then I would do the, I would set up the job and I'll say perform later. So it's actually not on like, it's not on the time constraint or it's not holding up the request. And I would pass in goal ID. Uh, but since I did this one late, I just have to do it from the console real quick. Oops. Let's go back in that rail C. And I can just rerun that last piece of code. And just like that. I want to go back and see if it's already there. Okay. It's not already there, so... Oh yeah, because we have to drop it in. This is the last part. We're about to get to my to the next goal. You know, once I get there. Whoops. Where did it go? Oh, I didn't even download it. That's funny. Reload. Click download. And then just drag it. Whoops. I wanted to drag it over, but we can drag it from here. Let's add our new motivational quote. Oh no. Oh, it's contrasting, but actually that's not bad because we'll just say replace. But it still didn't update for some reason. It's like it's caching it. Or just not auto reloading like us Rails developers like. It's almost like we have to just make it reload. Still doesn't get it, it's still showing the old one. Okay, here. Create a new awesome video for my YouTube channel. Also press that like button and subscribe to the channel. So I thought this was really cool to make and I had this idea the other day and just thought this would be a banger. So if you guys wanna check this out too, I'll put this app on GitHub and you can go and download it and try it out for yourself. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day. If you haven't already, Read the message right there, do it, and bye.